Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Proto Hexer underscore 7.62 and Roblox after the Flash Mirage. And it's pretty, it's actually kind of compl uh, complicated to get. I mean, so, but anyways, let's just get started. So, what you want to do is you want to go to Lake Mead Nuclear over here. And you need to get the strange transceiver, which should be over here. Uh, let's keep going. <sighs> keep on going. There should be a little door right here, right next to this place, biomass or whatever it's called. Now you enter in here. Then there should be a little thing right here. You need to stand on that and then you'll get it. It's called a strange transceiver. You'll find it in um, um, uh, utilities, miscellaneous. And yeah, I gotta equip that. Let me turn on my light. Okay, so once you get that, you wanna come over here. Oh, by the way, if you reset, um, you have to do the thing all over again, which is pretty painful we just run all the way over here they take a while and I don't know what to do to talk about I mean weather's nice I guess what the heck is this okay we'll explore that in another video but for now you want to run over here I believe not over here. Actually, I'll just reset. So, um, so, yeah. So once you get the strange transceiver, you want to equip it. Uh, strange transceiver. Now you want to go over to the Atom Kick Factory over here by Crater View. Yes. No. There's this little uh, mountain right here. This little uh, hill. Now you want to go around the back, and there should be a tiny little ladder that you can spot right here. Now you want to climb this. Come over here. Okay, enter. So what you want to do is you want to pull out your strange transceiver and you want to click the laptop with it. Now, click. And you have to do this in order or else it will not work. So you want to type in username, enter. Password, password, enter. LS, enter. Now here's where this hard stuff comes in. So you want to come over here. Uh, all this will be in the description too. So copy this and paste that and then this sh should pop up and then you want to do dot slash terminal secure rsa dot exe like i just said this will all be in the description so don't worry data miners okay so please enter your id number this is the id number it's really really long enter now this should no this should uh uh open up now you want to click out and you want to run all the way back to lake mead which is over here now like i said earlier in the video if you reset you will not uh get the proto hacker so yeah this is gonna take a while also when the video is over you can go check out my other videos like my minecraft tutorials i do those like every twice a week or once a week depending on how um how tired i am but let's just um go back over here yes 
if you could reset and do it, that'd be really, really great, but don't. Okay. Okay, so now that we're here, um, we actually have to run a little bit further. But now that you're back at Lake Mead, um, you want to go over to the little side over here. There's like a little um, sand patch, sand line, or whatever you want to call it over here. Right there, as you can see. So you want to follow this path. It may take a little bit. So... When you follow this path, you should reach like a big rock with a hole in it. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. <sighs> yep, right there. Now, when you get over here, you want to enter, obviously. Um, also, this is where you get the normal hacker too, which is right here. Which is the rest of Now what you want to do is you want to click the bunker door. And it'll... Click it again. And it'll open up. Now press X to crawl under. So when you're done crawling under. You want to come over here. Go through this little vault door. And here it is. Right here. Proto Haxer. Now once you get it you can obviously just reset. And there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And here's a little showcase of how it shoots. And I'll be gone. Proto Hacks here. By the way, this is not automatic. And I'll even do the little, the normal Haxer uh, showcase, the rusted version, not auto either. It's basically just the same thing, it just, it's just shorter and rusted. Now, uh, like I said, thank you guys for watching so much, have a wonderful day, and bye!